Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about area of polygons. Um, so for this first one, pretty straightforward here. Um, we have a grid that's already given to us and we're trying to find the area of this shape. So I'm going to go ahead and separate it into sections so that it's very easy for us to find the area. And to figure out the lengths, we're just going to count the blocks. So if I look at the uh, top part here of this first one, that would have a measurement of three. And then if we go down the side here, count how many blocks, one, two, it's one, two, three, four, five. So that would have a measurement of five. Okay. And then um, let's take a look at the, our other shapes that we have here. So this one right here, that would be a one for one of the sides. And then if we go long, that would be two. Oopsies, two. And then go ahead and label the other one. That would be a two by two. Okay, so we have three uh, rectangles here. We have rectangle A, rectangle B, and rectangle C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my rectangle A. We're going to find the area of rectangle A. So that, to find the area, remember is length times width. So we're going to do 5 times 3, which tells me the area of rectangle A would be 15. Now let's find the area of rectangle B. So area here would be 1 times 2. And again, we're looking over here change the color here. We're looking at B, which is over here, right? That's a one by two, so one times two. One times two is two, so the area of angle or <laughs> of rectangle B is two. And then lastly for C down here at the bottom, right, that's a two by two. So to find the area of C, we're going to multiply two times two which the area of that would be four. So the last step here would be to add 15, two, and four to get the total area. So 15 plus two plus four is gonna give us our answer of 21 units. Now it's 21 units squared, remember, because we're talking about area here, so technically all of these would be units squared. I just didn't write it in my work, but definitely make sure it's in your answer because you're doing length times width. All right, go ahead and jump to this slide. We're gonna work on this one together and we're gonna find the area of it just like we did before, but now there's no blocks. They just gave us the lengths. So we're still gonna start by splitting it up into different rectangles. So there we go. So let's say this one here is A, this one's B, and this one is C. So we need to find the area of A, B, and C. So for A, we're gonna do, we're gonna multiply three times nine. So th area equals three times nine. So the area of A would be 27. For B, we're gonna multiply three times two. Area equals three times two and area here would be six and then finally for C we're gonna do three times three so C is gonna be area equals three times three which would be the area of this is nine okay and then the last step would be to add all those up together to find the total area so we're gonna be doing 27 plus six plus nine, and 27 plus six plus nine is gonna give us 42 meters squared. Okay, this is gonna be the very last one we're gonna to do together, which is a little more challenging because not all of it's labeled for us nicely, but I think you guys can figure it out. So I'm still gonna split it up. Okay, and let's go ahead and take a look at, we're gonna call this one A and this one here B. So if I'm looking at rectangle A, to find the area here, we're gonna multiply three times whatever this is right here. Okay, well, so I'm gonna write A equals three times. How do I figure out what that missing number is? Well, if I take a close look, 
I know the whole thing is eight, right? They told us that that whole side is eight. And I know that down here from here to here is five. So if I were to try to figure out what the missing side is, I could do eight minus five to figure out that that missing piece, that missing piece is also three. Okay, so we're gonna be doing three times three here for uh, rectangle A. So the area of that would be nine, okay? And then for B, that one is labeled nicely for us. We're gonna be doing seven times five to find the area of B. So B, our area is seven times five, which that gives me 35. And then the last step is to add our areas. So we're doing 35 plus nine, which will give me 44 centimeters squared. So you kind of have to look at what they give you. So here they gave me the full length of eight and we know this is five. So that kind of tells us how to figure out what the missing piece is here. So try the other ones on this and when you are done, please check the key.